Hey guys, in this video we'll be talking about something called active buzzers. And now the one way you can differentiate passive buzzers from active buzzers is by looking at the terminal. If you see the terminal for active buzzers, you're going to see that one terminal is longer than the other one because of the cathode and anode. And whichever ch um, sides you want to put, make sure your anode is connected to the ground wire and the cathode uh, is connected to a terminal in your Elgo um, breadboard. So once you have done that, so let me just go ahead. So here you can see that the left one, which is this side over here, is our cathode. So I'm going to connect my cathode to the blue wire and the anode to the white wire, which is the ground. Once this is done, I have a code which I will put down in the description, which took some time, but it came down to finding out what kind of frequency do we want and how much time are we going to spend on the buzzer beeping. The last step, I want to complete my circuit by plugging this into the computer. Once that's done, you can see that if I start to program it, you can see that certain voice is there for some amount of time and then it disappears. As you see this, you'll also notice that the starting sound of this buzzer is much higher than the ending sound. It's because it's coded just accordingly. So I'll share this code onto my YouTube description and I uh, hope you now know what active buzzers do and you can differentiate between active and passive buzzers. Thanks for watching.